Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. Today I'm going to be setting up and planning in my wellness, my vertical wellness planner for the week of the 18th through the 24th. And the theme I'm going with, October, um, sometimes it's called Pinktober because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I did do kind of a peachy pink spread early in the month, um, but I don't feel like it was enough. It was pinky enough. So I want to go ahead and do pink again. Um, brought to you by Plan Today with Mo. Her um, theme for the week is breast cancer. And then I have this super cute sticker book, which I also think I used in a spread earlier in the month. Um, maybe it was a monthly spread or not. This is the one of the Michaels um, Halloween sticker books that's available right now in 2021. And it's got all this fun, like goth pink and black stuff in it, um, including some skulls with pink florals. But it's got this whole page of... Well, a couple pages actually, but this one with the pink and black pumpkins. So this is the theme I'm going with, pink and pumpkins, which actually combines a couple different um, themes. Hey Pumpkin for Planable October. Hello Pumpkin for October Focus 2021. Uh, Pumpkin Perfection for October Spread Thread 2021. So I'm also going to do, I think, I'm going to do pumpkins in my horizontal, which will... Um, upload tomorrow. But anyway, so let's get going on this one. I have already pulled all my prompts. So I have a video on printing these prompts. Um, it's in my DIY playlist. It's printing wellness prompts. And this is how you turn any vertical planner into the original Happy Planner Wellness Planner, just using any old spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and get started putting these on here. These are just the um, journaling prompts. So the bottom row of boxes is for journaling. And it's the same prompts every week, but, um, you know, depending on what life is giving you at the moment, you might write something different. So, all right. And then the left-hand side's got kind of a currently section, and um, this box in the old original wellness planner said keto, or exercise, I use it to say keto. For my hydration, so I'm sticking in pinks, I've got this roll of bullet points with lots of different shades of pink, which I forgot to open before I started recording. Um, and then I've, I'm still trying to use up all my sidebar stacks in different colors that I got. These are from Birds Fly Studio. These are always linked in my description box. But I have this um, set of pink ones. So as you can see, I have my cutting mat out. I am going to, I don't use them on the sidebar. My sidebar is all used up with other things. So I just like to cut those apart. So I'm gonna grab my straight edge and my craft knife and do this real quick. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is pair this sticker book with some just plain black florals out of, this was the black and white Be Happy box that came out a while back, but there are lots of Happy Planner sticker books that have um, black and white florals in them, so no biggie. And then this is um, a set of clear matte sticker paper. These are stickers I printed for myself actually last year for Halloween, and I thought I might use a couple of these spider webs. We'll see. Um, and then the last thing I have is some Simply Gilded. This is some Simply Gilded Halloween washi tape from this year. You can see it's got orange and gold foil. See the tiny little moon on there, and there's if you keep looking, sometimes you can find a bat or a ghost. So I'm going to use this to put on the left-hand side under my prompts. Um, and then lastly, I pulled one of my favorites, one of my Kaiser Craft sticker books that happens to have pink and white, black words in it. So we'll pull some of those for my quotes and stuff. So let's go ahead and pull some more stuff. I need workout boxes for four of them, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. This book has a couple of fun little boxes in it, but it, it's got two there and it's got two here, but I need four and those don't match very well. So I thought since I'm going to use pink bullet points and pink hydration, maybe I could go ahead and use black um, for the workout boxes. So let's find four matching boxes in here that I can use for workouts. So I can use these round ones. That might be fun, I never do that. Let's do that. I'm sure there are rectangular ones, but I never, never use round. So let's go, nah, I think I want it like that. 
just putting these roughly where they would go. I need to under, right now I don't have a good feel for the black to pink balance. So um, I'm not sure whether I want to use pink words or black words, you know what I mean? Um, this washi tape I'm going to use over here is going to be pretty dark. So I think I'm going to want pink for my positive word and my feeling. And then, so these pages are from the Stargazer Planner. Technically, I think they're supposed to be considered red, but so much of this is pink that I feel like it's fine to use for this spread. But I think up here next to October for my encouraging word above keto, I think I want black for that rather than pink. So let's pull a few words. Um, so we'll go for black up above keto. Let's go with, and I know this is foil, so it's probably hard for you guys to read. I like this, the sweet life for above keto, actually. So many of my keto recipes are desserts because that's one of the hardest things. Okay, and then let's look for pink for positive word and feeling. Uh, I have been feeling that I need me time lately, you guys, so... I'm putting that there. M for positive word. Lovely. So we'll put lovely up there. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, set some of this up to, like I said, get a feel for the balance of the colors. So um, let's start at the top with the sweet life. I'm just going to start near the, I, I usually start about even with the top of the boxes. And that gets notes covered up nicely. So we'll put keto right up against it. All right, and we'll break out the washi tape. This is the Simply Gilded, like I said. And I do have a link in um, the description box for Simply Gilded. Um, if you've never signed up with them before, you can use that link um, to get I believe it says what it is in the link. I believe it's $5 off a purchase of $15 or more. I'm not um, a, an affiliate of Simply Gilded, but if you do use that link, it gets me a discount as well. So no pressure, just um, it's there. You get, a, you get a discount, I get a discount. So anyway, you guys, if you've watched my channel before, you know I am totally addicted to Simply Gilded washi tape. It's just so pretty. The stardust stuff. Okay, so since this is kind of an open-ended journaling, journaling prompt, I'm going to come up from the bottom with the rest of these. And I like to, again, put this one about even with the bottom of the boxes. Because I know I'm not going to have a full length um, quote across the bottom. So, all right. So this one is watching. Oh my gosh, you guys. We just got done. My sister told me about Squid Games. Or Squid Game. And we just got done watching it. And I, I will tell you guys, I was shocked at the depth of the, of the character development. Um, if you have been considering giving Squid Games a try and it's been putting you off that it's just like a Halloween, the premise is putting you off because it's kind of a harsh premise. Um, it's, it's so much more than just a Halloween slasher show. It is, like I said, that they really dive deep into the characters and who they are and what their motivations are, and you just really connect to the characters. I was so pleasantly surprised by that. Um, okay, so feeling I, I picked me time. This is listening to, so I've been listening to jazz, except on rainy days, then I like to listen to the rain, but I've been having an inner conversation with myself. Um about how soon is too soon to start listening to Christmas music because I'm I'm ready you guys I love my background my Christmas music so I think I have decided that on November 1st <laughs> I can listen to Christmas music I know there are there are you guys out there saying listen to whatever you want whenever you want um, but I don't want to get sick of it you know so I think I'll start November 1st Christmas music time all right Reading, I am reading um, a book by the British author I like, um, Ian Rob Wright. It's called The Gates. It's the first of, uh, I think, two or three. Um, and it's about these strange 
pitch black stones that appear all over the earth and basically open up and demons and fallen angels can come through and wreak havoc on humankind. So anyway, it's pretty fun. Um, and then positive word, I chose lovely. So we're getting a better feel now for the color balance I've got going on. I think next I'll go ahead and fast forward and um, fill in my center section. So I always put four bullet points, my hydration stickers across the bottom, and my workout boxes on my workout days. And that is so that I can track um, just the settings on the exercise bike. I do cardio on a recumbent bike. So, um, oh, I'm gonna grab my super pointy tweezers. These are just off Amazon. They are for actually for artificial eyelashes. So if you want to get a pair of these, just look for artificial eyelash tweezers on Amazon um, and that will get you what you need. So I'm going to get going on this and I just do breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. Um, I don't, with keto, you, if you've never tried keto, you don't get hungry as much on keto. So anyway, I'm going to fast forward this while I set it up. grab um where'd it go a fitness book and just grab a little black scale to put up here amongst all the reddish pink there we go just weigh in once a week that is plenty there okay so now we have a better feel for how much black i have versus how much pink i have i think i want to go ahead and go with um black here and here instead of the pink so let's look for some black quotes I like follow your dreams I think I'll use that as the weekend banner so put it up here just kind of centered and I'm hesitating because I'm wondering if I want to put a spider web on there um, nah. I like say yes to new adventures. That's a good one. Let's put it down here. There we go. And then one more. I like you make me so very happy. So actually, I think that might be about all I need this book for. So the next thing I want to do, I think I want to maybe cut this spider web in half and put it up here in the corner. Um, or again, I'm still reconsidering, do I want to put one up here? I think I will. I don't know why, I just really, I kind of want one up here. So if I put it right here at the edge just want it to look like it's connecting to something, you know? So if I put it right there, I think I'm gonna move this over just a tiny bit so that that little bit of spider web is actually connecting to something. Maybe I'll just snug this right into the corner, which normally I center it, but because of the way I'm decorating, I think I wanna put it in the corner. There, okay, that's cute. Super cute, and then I think what I want is a floral with a pumpkin. Um, so let's pick, let's pick a floral. Where'd that page of? Okay, there's one with smaller florals. Let's mark this page. So if you haven't taken your elastic off, which usually I do, I just haven't gotten around to it on this book yet. You can use it to mark your page like I just did. Um, here we go. So I have a spider web I just put with this one. So maybe I really want some hot pink. Let's use this hot pink pumpkin. If I put it there, I need a floor. I want a floral for right there. So that one's too big. How about this one? So it can kind of like go around the pumpkin. I like that. Okay. 
looking for my tweezers. And it's even kind of up into the spider web. And then kind of put that together. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, I want a pumpkin. Or I mean a pumpkin. I want a spider web for this corner. Maybe I'll use a smaller one and just leave it whole and kind of put it in the corner. Like some of these, one of these looks like it could go right in the corner. And I do have information. I do have a video um, on how I print my own stickers, not these specific stickers. Cause these actually I printed right after I started my YouTube channel. And so I wasn't filming everything at that point, but you'll get the gist. So, okay. That's cool. Um, another pumpkin with another floor. I like this one that says pretty scary. That's got the spider on it. That's cool. And then we need, we need floral to go with it. Um, I think I want, let's see, something big. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up using mostly big ones. How about this one? Okay, so pumpkin goes on top. So let's start with, yeah. Oh yeah, it looks like the spider web's connected to the floral. That's awesome. Cute. All right. Now, also in this book are some fun little, um, not quotes, but they're, ooh, these are cute too. Um, there's some more. Not quotes, but like, I guess they're kind of Halloween quotes. Scream Queen, The Spooky Squad, Fabulous, Fabulous. That's kind of cool. I could put that in um, my wellness planner. That's, here we go. Pretty Potion. Oh, well, there's a giant car going by outside. Um, vampire Blood. Something I can't, Dissatisfaction Guaranteed. <laughs> that's cute. So since that's a little bigger, maybe I'll put it like here. Sinful Sangria. That's good for going into the weekend. Um, does that have enough pink though? I could put more floral on it. More pink floral. Let's do that. I, like, I don't know why. I just really like that one. Sinful Sangria. Maybe on Friday because it's Sangria. Yeah. And then let's put this floral with it just to amp up the pink a little bit more. Okay. Maybe a small, is there a smaller one I could put maybe up here? So this one says purely potent snake serum. Oh, happy Halloween. I'll save that for closer to Halloween. Here we go. Oh, oh I liked this fabulous. So let's put that one over here. Like up here. There we go. Okay. And there's these little corner florals I could put maybe. Um, this round one. I don't know. Let's see. Let's do, let's do a couple more pumpkin black and white floral clusters maybe. How about these black leaves with like a pumpkin sit sitting amongst them? I like these little pink bats too. And why not? How about a gold spider web? All right. We need another pumpkin. This page had some black, smaller black pumpkins. How about this? I like this little tiny guy. And we'll kind of nestle him right in here. That just feels like feed me some more. Um, one more here. Let's do this this little floral bit, but I think I want it to come kind of up and around the pumpkin. I'm gonna have to move that back. Move it up. Put this one kind of 
here. And then we'll put a pumpkin right there. I kind of like this black, these ones that are half and half, black and pink. There. And then I want something right there. Um, I could put a silver bat. Or gold, sorry, foil. Ooh. I just noticed these, these, they've got teeny tiny little, I don't know if you can see them, teeny tiny little fangs. <laughs> they're not just lip kisses, they're like little fangs. Let's put right next to the fabulous. <laughs> and then I think I want one right there. And then that, we'll look at it and see. Is that done? Um... I think that might be done, you guys. I mean, like, I could put some more stuff down here. But I think that's enough stuff. I never use these circle stickers. I just said that was enough, and now I'm going <laughs> to stick more on there. Let's do a pink skull. And a pink floral. I'm staying away from the solid black ones because these are black, you know? So let's do some more lips. And one more for here. I'll come back. Oh, here we go. I was going to say, I'll come back and grab that if I have to, but let's do a pumpkin. This one. There we go. Perfect. It's done. Okay. So let me show you how I'm going to put this in my planner because I need to franken plan it in. I don't have this week's spread on the back side there. Okay, so for this side, I don't know what I'm going to do on the 25th. I might want the pink and red again. I might want to stick with the black. So we're just going to put that in my planner just the way it is. Um, for this side, though, I know I need my 17th to flip to the 18th. So we're going to take this page which I had used the orange last week. And that's where my 17th is. And we're gonna tape these together. So I'm just gonna get my wax paper back out. And I'm gonna go all the way around the edge, it doesn't matter which page, with some tape runner, even in between the punches. There we go, a little down the center for good measure. Now we'll just line this up very carefully around the punches, because we don't want there to be any resistance to turning on the on the discs there we go that's it that's how you franken plan a new page into your planner so if you have extra planners go for it because then you can do fun stuff like this so there we go there is my spread my pink halloween goth feeling um, breast cancer awareness spread in my wellness planner for the week of October 18th to the 24th. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to have some fun and play with, um, play with a holiday theme and still, but still make it feel like wellness with the florals and whatnot. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.